Hello, this is Manash Patel with IMTF Trade. Today is March 19, and we are actually putting out a video on gold. Why gold? A lot of times you don't hear about something until it's too late, and gold has been a silent little winner that's slowly moving, and not a lot of people are talking about it. And that's one of the reasons why we're putting out this workshop. We've been talking about gold since the beginning of this year, and we're continuously talking about it there and looking for opportunities to sit there and go bullish. Okay, uh, here's our normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting your buy or sell any particular instrument. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at eiicapital.com. We are broker neutral here, and you can read the rest of the disclaimer. So let's go through and start going through the charts. So here is the weekly chart, sorry, daily chart for gold uh, provided on trading view. And you could see here, there's a base here for a trend consolidation. And then you could see it broke out here on December 4. And then it sat there, re-supported that breakout level here on December 19th. And this is the beginning of the trend that basically went all the way up. Here, basically, the bullish trend got stopped out March 1st. And at that point, it, it basically, it was a high probability of going for a major pullback, which it pretty much did right there. So this is the major pullback that basically occurred. The support that we're looking for was on the major pullback was right there at 12,089.50. It bleeped below there, there. So we really didn't sit there and look at a bullish opportunity at all until we got back above that resistance level, which is pretty much right there. So March 8th uh, here, we pretty much have been looking for this thing to go bullish and looking for bullish opportunities on the lower time frame to sit there and look at a trade here. We're looking for it to sit there and start progressing forward to start testing some of the highs up here, like here and right there, okay? And so you could see that there. Now, the very first thing we did was we were looking at the four hour here and we're looking for a trade on the four hour, believe it or not. Reason why is with the consolidation patterns, uh, you'll get a lot of fake signals on the 60 minute and stuff like that. So this till this four hours ready, those lower time frames are not going to give you clear signals, believe it or not. So this is what we're looking for. This is our breakout level there. So we know right now if this gets to our breakout level right there this has got a high probability of entering a bullish trend believe it or not and at least to come up to about right there okay so we're looking for at least minimum for it to come up to about 1327 which is the next major resistance level that you could see here that basically happened right there okay so we're looking for the breakout the right occur, occur there we can't really do a pullback reason why we don't have some multiple time frame crosses we do have these little dots there which are where the swing traders and uh, the day traders are lined up but that still was low probability to a point we did not take that at all okay so we're waiting for those uh, for it to get there uh, so but this does look a major level like there so we're looking for this to sit there and start breaking out anytime soon and we think by March 25th that this thing's going to sit there and break out and start a trend going up because we do have a timing element on the markets too where they can sit there and go down on March 25th so we're looking for a inverse uh, relationship with the stock market happening at that point if you guys have any questions, you can email us at info at eiicapital.com. Thank you.